Yo, 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 Guardians! It's your boy, CBT Kung Fu here, back at it again with another Destiny 2 video. Before I say anything, I would like to thank you for clicking on this video. I would also like to say that I will be keeping you up to date on absolutely every nook and cranny and every secret and leak about Destiny 2. Now let's get to it. Challenges. Bungie has added a new feature in Destiny 2 called Challenges. I don't know much about them at the moment, but you can see that they can be tracked when you pull out your ghost, and they must reward you with some luscious loot. As you can see, this Guardian has three challenges active at the moment, one being called Lost Sectors, Firebase Hades, loot a lost sector near Firebase Hades, then Red Legion Raider, loot three Cabal supply caches, and finally Scourge of the Cabal, defeat 75 Cabal enemies. Regional chests are new chests similar to the golden chests in Destiny 1, but they're in Destiny 2 and there are way more of them. You can find them on your map and locate them by finding their unique symbol shown on screen now. Here is some sick gameplay of somebody finding a regional chest. These chests will be hidden around every patrol area, so keep your eyes on the prize, Guardian. So here is the regional chest, as you can see the regional chest symbol on the left, and it rewards you with some European Dead Zone tokens. EDZ tokens are items obtainable very easily and are redeemable when you visit Devrim K, who is a brand new NPC of the European Dead Zone. You can exchange these tokens for reputation because yes, there is a new faction, the EDZ faction. Every time you rank up, you get an EDZ engram giving you luscious loot. Here is the EDZ engram loot tables. It reads, this item will contain one faction item as well as a faction shader and one additional reward. Take a look at all the luscious loot now because who knows when you'll be able to see so much awesome stuff in one place. You can also redeem dusk light crystals for more EDZ reputation. Bright engrams are new engrams rewarded to you when you level up. The yellow bar at the bottom of the screen is your experience bar, and when it is complete, you are rewarded with a bright engram. Then the process repeats itself. Hallelujah, luscious loot. The description of the bright engram reads, you get bright engrams when you level up. They hold items for customizing your character. Tess Everest can decode them. High value targets are no longer public events and can be found anywhere in patrol. They spawn randomly and a little notification shows above your super bar when they spawn. Defeat them and a chest will appear directly where they died and you can get some more EDZ tokens. I just would like to mention the sword that the guy just used now. Holy shit is it amazing. So here is the chest to get some luscious loot. I've said that a lot this video, haven't I? Public events can now be activated manually and you do not have to wait for them to spawn anymore. They are much more difficult and each one has a heroic modifier that activates when you complete a secret mechanic. This will spawn more enemies and possibly some mini bosses, but it will reward you with extra loot. Here is a great look at the public event heroic version rewards. Look at them sick dance moves. Let's see what he gets. Bam. Lost sectors are hidden areas scattered across the map. Once discovered, there will be a bunch of enemies hiding inside along with a named boss that's guarding a lost sector chest. The chest can only be opened once the boss is defeated. Here is a sexy lost sector chest with that luscious loot. Yes, I will keep saying that. 
Here is the Lost Sector symbol. Now you will see this around the map designating that there is a Lost Sector nearby. Although that it is shown on your map too, finding the entrance of a Lost Sector can still prove to be a little bit of a hassle. Some are easier to find than others. The Glimmer Cap has definitely be been raised because this Guardian has 70,000 Glimmer. Okay guys, so I believe that the Destiny 1 Taken King subclasses will be returning in Destiny 2 because of this. So when this hunter picks up this Lost Sector chest, he gets something called a Fractured Arrow. And you can see the little void mark next to it. Then the text at the bottom says, Artifact discovered, you have found an object filled with lost power. Possibly the Night Stalker subclass. Now there's an object like this for every single class. So you just saw the one for the hunter, here's the one for the warlock, and here's the one for the titan. So I'm kind of disappointed that old subclasses, more old subclasses I should say, are returning because we already have Striker, Golden Gun, and Nova Bomb that have already returned. So why three more subclasses are returning when this is supposed to be a completely new game? Now three or old subclasses returning is fine, but now there are six returning when it's a new game and should have its all new subclasses. There shouldn't be any subclasses returning, but yet old ones are. And old exotic armor is returning too old exotic armor and weapons i should say but anyways guys that's all i have for you today and thanks for watching and i hope to see you all in the very next video